सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम श्रेष्ठ आई एम अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस लीड कोड प्रीमियम टॉप इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम सीरीज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ईच एंड एवरी प्रॉब्लम विच आर मैंशन ऑन द लीड कोड टॉप इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑल्सो दिस विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक योर नेक्स्ट कोडिंग इंटरव्यू इन द टॉप नॉच प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ प्रॉब्लम let's look at this problem uh, so it is climbing stairs a very famous dp problem and it is very important for conceptual building and dynamic programming as well so let's read the problem statement so we have been given a staircase and it has n steps to reach the top so we can either climb it by one or two steps so in how many distinct ways we can climb at the top so let's say for n equals to 2 the output is 2 so the two ways that is we can directly take a two step jump or we can take one step plus one step uh, so let's try to visualize it for some other example so let's say we have been given n as 5 so initially uh, we have we are at 5 comma 0 we can either take one step or two step okay so let's take one step from here it will go to 1 comma 5 another let's take two step so it will okay now we can again take one step or two step again one step or two step again one step or two step again one step or two step this way also 5 comma 6 6 comma 5 one step two step one step two step similarly for this subtree 3 comma 5 4 comma 5 4 comma 5 5 comma 5 5 comma 5 so this is the whole recursion tree and we have observed that at each step we are just adding the value of i minus 1 and i minus 2 this is simple for each step okay so we'll just use this thing in order to build our dynamic programming array okay so let's code this one so let's say we have a vector uh, vector int dp n comma 0 and uh, we'll initialize it for 0 for 0 it will be 1 and for 1 it will be 2 because uh, for reaching us n is equal to 1 uh, we have uh, Uh, uh we have only once uh, we have only two ways okay and let's start a loop from int i is equal to 2 i less than n and i plus plus so for this simply what we'll do we'll say dp of i is equal to dp of i minus 1 plus dp of i minus 2 this will be done and uh, finally we'll return dp of n minus 1 okay this will be good to go yeah so it got accepted so the overall time and the space complexity will be linear as we have uh, traversed the array once and only uh and the we have just initialized a vector that is of size n so i hope that you guys have understood this problem uh, do like share and subscribe uh, we'll meet you in the next problem thank you